The right to an abortion is now officially part of California's state constitution. Voters passed a measure last month, and with election results now verified, it's all become law. But some state lawmakers say their work is just getting started. CBS 8 political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us now with what comes next. Morgan? Californians were already allowed to legally get an abortion before this measure passed. This measure is for the future so that if a future legislature comes in that's more conservative, they can not just change the Constitution. The California Future of Abortion Council, which is made up of over 40 statewide organizations and lawmakers, knew Roe versus Wade was going to be overturned. It's why the council was created. We really wanted to make sure that any future legislature or any future court decision will not um, impact our rights here in California. In addition to their help passing Proposition 1, they also gave the legislature 45 recommendations to turn into law. Passed a 15 bill package that allocated over $200 million in the state budget to really support not just abortion access, but also sexual reproductive health care. This new session, they have 16 more recommendations for the state, including investing in a diverse abortion provider workforce and increasing training opportunities for historically excluded communities from health care professions. This is a sad development from the point of view of the pro-life community, but it is a reminder that our work continues. We knew that Roe v. Wade was not going to end abortion, and we know that Proposition 1 is a is a setback, but it's a reminder of the work that we have to do. Jonathan Keller is the president of the California Family Council, a pro-life organization. Both councils are gearing up for this new legislative session. I would really much rather see our state and our big corporations here in California focus much more on expanding and increasing maternal health care resources, whether we're talking about prenatal care, whether we're talking about paid family leave. A chunk of the 16 new recommendations from the California Future of Abortion Council is to make sure that the $200 million that have already been allocated to this issue are spent correctly and then to add more money into those programs. Now, Morgan, are they worried about the predicted budget deficit at all here? The council is hopeful that despite this predicted $25 billion deficit that the state is facing, that the state will continue to prioritize abortion access. All right, Morgan, thanks for the latest on that.